Welcome back to another setup video here on GeekSmart. Today I'm doing a setup on, well, what actually is the Google Home Mini. Now this is actually gonna to pertain to basically any Google Home product out there, but in this case we are focusing on the Mini, especially at the price that it's at, uh, 29 bucks still uh, for the holidays here. So if you're opening up your Christmas presents and happen one of these maybe in your stocking stuffer, this will help you do a setup if you have any questions. Basically a quick run, rundown. Uh, Google Home Mini here. This is the power cable that it comes with, which is a standard AC adapter to micro USB. And then of course the box, which doesn't mean anything other than showing you what it is. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start by plugging it in. All right, so while my cord is long enough to do this, plugging it in and we're just gonna let it boot up. Now it's gonna tell us when it's actually ready. In the meantime, you're gonna to wanna to grab your handy mobile device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, and download the Google Home app. All the setup is actually gonna be done in the Google Home app, which is looks like that. So search your, uh, any app store that you currently run and make sure you download the correct app. And then we're gonna go from there. So she's basically about to tell me that we're ready to go. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. And that's exactly what we did. So we're gonna bring the video in so you can see the actual app in its work. So here on my iPhone 10, now this is gonna be any device, but I'm doing a mine on an iPhone. Um, Google Home app, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna be actually greet here of how to get started, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And it's probably gonna have us log directly into our Google account. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and then I'm gonna come back after this step. But Google Home is our Google account, email, and then password. After you log in with your correct password, you confirm the account, which is underneath my phone or my finger here. And I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. So now after we confirmed the account, it's looking for the devices that are out there. Uh, in this case, it's gonna should be able to find my Google Home Mini. There we go, it actually found my Mini. Hit next. Now it's gonna connect directly to the Mini and get it actually properly set up for me. So we're gonna give it a few moments and uh, see what happens here. Yes, I heard that sound. So did I hear the sound? Yes, I'm gonna hit the yes in the bottom right corner. Where is the device located? Well, right now it's actually in my basement. I'm gonna hit basement. So next, connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi connection, hit next. And while it's connecting to Wi-Fi, We'll give, a, give it a few moments to do that. Do, 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 connected. And we're back up and staying straight there. So that'd be Google Assistant. Now these are gonna be the various terms and conditions, stuff like that. Information on saying, hey Google, or okay Google. Oh, she's, hopefully it's not gonna go. But I'm gonna hit next. Please give log me. in through the Google Home app. Okay, so yes, yes I'm in. Set up your, so now we're gonna actually teach our assistant to recognize my specific voice. So yes, I'm in. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. So just like you said, it just do exactly what it tells you to do, right? And we're waiting for that to assign all that information, make sure it, does all of its stuff there. Training complete. Fantastic, you can now recognize my voice. Yes, I'll allow it to know my location. You don't have to do this. You can obviously choose your own stuff. So there we are off of that. Now you can add musical services. So these are the four that you can currently set up with Google Home. Uh, Google Play, YouTube Music, Spotify, Pandora. If you were to choose any of these, you hit the plus sign and you'd log in with your credentials. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step. Hit next. Add a payment method. Now this is obviously for uh, information or how to actually you know, pay things or if you, for tasks like ordering a ride or food. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna hit next. Google Home Mini is ready. And she's standing straight. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To and learn now, a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. We're good to go. It's fully set up. 
there's not a whole lot more other than using it unless you want to actually start setting up more of your um well nope there we go unless you want to start setting up your smart home stuff which in that case is going to be a whole other video but for that matter we are set up so that is the setup of the google home mini or in this case any of the google home products um Setup actually is easier on the Google Home than it is actually on the Amazon Alexa products, in my opinion. Not terribly easier, but it is actually easier. You do not have to leave the app. And this is coming from an iPhone user, right? Because on the iPhone or the Alexa app, I do have to leave the settings to go to my settings app to connect to the Wi-Fi and then go back to the app, where the Google, I don't have to do that. Also, it automatically puts the password of my Wi-Fi in it for me. So... It's kind of nice. Um, with that said, um, there are benefits to both. So I'm not going to get into that. I do have a video over on my Tech Gooch channel where I did do a small comparison, at least in the few, first few days that I actually owned the Google Home Mini. Um, but I also have full reviews on several of the Alexa products. So that said, guys, I want to say thank you for stopping by. Please comment below if I did something wrong or something's different maybe on your app or on your side with Android. But that said, I hope this at least gives you a little bit of a hand in case you had any kind of issues with it. Now, I will say one more thing. In case you are not happy with the product and maybe you do want to change over to the other side of the coin, the Amazon products, and you're going to take this back, you're probably going to want to factory reset it. How to do that? On the bottom of the Google Home Mini at least, there is a little, well, right next to the power cable, there's a little dot basically that's uh, in the rubber bottom. All, it actually is a button underneath the rubber button. What you do is you push and hold, and it'll, it'll actually tell you what's going to actually happen. You're about to completely reset Google Home. To cancel, release the button. And I'm not going to reset. I'm going to go ahead and just keep holding. And it'll chime. And you can release. And now it's resetting. So, while it's doing that, I'm going to finish up. If there's any other questions you have for me, let me know. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel, share the video, like me, like this. And we'll catch you on another setup.